What's that between your legs there, honey, in your hand? I'm steering, baby. Oh. And I'm moving some flats and landing and levers. Wow. Closing you up, bud. Uh -oh. I don't think you can, honey. There are so many dials in here. I know. We keep trying. I should probably come up and look. And the gravity, we got the flaps are up. Okay. All right, I'm starting to bring the nose up. Oh, wait, you forgot something. Wait, 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 wait. Every woman oh, girls always have, needs their purse. purse. Okay, now I'm you're ready to take to off. My hair once All right. Boy, I'll tell you, this is harder than it looks. Keeping steady here in space. A little disorientating at first. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Much better. Yeah. many guys are lucky enough to have a wife that will come to museum after museum that's called usually an air and space museum this one's also called a planetarium but then she'll read the exhibits and actually be interested in back me up I am one lucky guy plus in case you haven't noticed She's pretty darn good looking on top of it. While in Tulsa, we took the bike trail on the east bank of the Arkansas River and came across a gathering place. This is like an interactive, environmental, mega on steroid playground. One of the places there is the boathouse. They had all kinds of places to sit and eat. Um, overlooking a pond, you could rent kayaks and canoes, and there's a river way along there. But then when you look beyond that, that's where the mega on steroid playground is. There are so many climbing areas for all ages. Um, playground areas for two to five year olds, and then uh, more competitive, risky places for teenagers along the, the waterway. You also see there's a, an amphitheater. And they had a concert going on uh, during the evening part. I decided to take a walk without Mark and I didn't take a camera, which was unfortunate because I could have showed you even more what was going on back there. But I highly encourage you to check out the gathering place in Tulsa on the website. It's just over the top. This is a privately run park, but it's open to the public. It costs nothing. Even the small cafes and restaurants all have uh, things on the menu that are incredibly affordable. So, Sue once again has ordered food and has got to eat. So, we found a little place here to sit. And as you can see, it's the most fantastic pavilion that we've ever seen in all of our travels. It's got lamps like this all throughout. It's the most cozy feeling. It's freaking gigantic. And even though there's a ton of people here, Everybody is so spread out, it feels like the place is yours. And everything is smells like fresh cut wood. I mean, it's, it's fabulous. And here we are. Here you can see the boathouse at night. Beautifully lit up. It's a great view over to the concert area. Yeah. 
Across the river is the bike path that we took on the west side of the river during daylight. This is the electric company and Mark loved the sign so much we have to go in again.